Hello and welcome to Evening Prayer for this Friday evening. It's lovely that you are able to join us in this way for Evening Prayer. I am again offering this service from a prayer book for Australia in the Anglican tradition and my name is the Reverend Donna Peterson and I am the Vicar of St Peter's Anglican Church in Wynnum. Let's begin. Peace to those who are far off. Peace to those who are near. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our canticle, the Lord's servant. He was despised, he was rejected. A man of sorrows, acquainted with grief. As one from whom people hide their faces. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Ours were the sufferings he bore. Ours the torments he endured. While we thought he was being punished, struck by God and brought low, he was pierced for our sins, bruised for no fault but ours. His punishment has won our peace, and by his wounds we are healed. We had all strayed like sheep, all taking our own way, but the Lord laid on him the guilt of us all. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 107, verses 23 to 43. Those who go down to the sea in ships and follow their trade on great waters, they have seen the works of God and his wonders in the deep. For he spoke and raised the storm wind, and it lifted high the waves of the sea. They go up to the sky and down again to the depths. Their courage melts away in the face of the disaster. They reel and stagger like drunkards and are at their wit's end. Then they cried to the Lord in their distress and he took them out of their trouble. He calmed the storm to a silence and the waves of the sea were stilled. Then they were glad because they were quiet and he brought them to the haven they longed for. Let them thank the Lord for his goodness and for the wonders that he does for the children of Adam. Let them exalt him in the assembly of the people and praise him in the council of elders. He turns the rivers into desert and springs of water into thirsty ground. He makes of a fruitful land a salty waste because of its inhabitants are evil. He turns the wilderness into a pool of water and parched ground into flowing springs. And there he settles the hungry and they build a city to live in. They sow fields and plant vineyards which give them fruitful harvest. He blesses them and they multiply greatly. He does not let their cattle diminish. But he pours contempt upon princes and makes them stray in the pathless desert. They are weakened and brought low through stress and adversity and sorrow. But he lifts the poor out of misery and increases their families like flocks of sheep. The upright shall see it and rejoice and all wickedness shall shut its mouth. Whoever is wise, let them observe these things and consider the loving kindness of the Lord. Holy Spirit, sanctifier, cleanse us from all hypocrisy. Unite us to one another in the bonds of peace and love and confirm us in holiness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our reading today is from the book of Revelation, chapter 19, beginning at verse 11. Then I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, the one sitting on it called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he judges and makes war. 
His eyes are like a flame of fire, and on his head are many diadems, and he has a name written that no one knows but himself. He is clothed in a robe dipped in blood, and the name by which he is called is the Word of God. And the armies of heaven, arrayed in fine linen, white and pure, were following him on white horses. From his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations, and he will rule them with a rod of iron. He will tread the winepress on the fury of the wrath of God and the Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh he has a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Then I saw an angel standing in the sun, and with a loud voice he called to all the birds that fly directly overhead, Come, gather for the great supper of God. To eat the flesh of kings, the flesh of captains, the flesh of mighty men, the flesh of horses and their riders, and the flesh of all men, both free and slave, both small and great. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered to make war against him who was sitting on the horse and against his army. And the beast was captured and with it the false prophet who in its presence had done the signs by which he deceived those who had received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped its image. These two were thrown alive into the lake of fire and burns with sulphur and the rest were slain by the sword that came from the mouth of him who was sitting on the horse and all the birds were gorged with their flesh. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The second canticle, a song of the Lamb. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power, for you have created all things, and by your will they have their being. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed for God, saints from every tribe and language and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom of priests serving our God, and they will reign with you on earth. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sin, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Our prayer for the week, for this third week in Advent. Almighty God, you have made us and all things to serve you. Come quickly to save us so that wars and violence shall end. And your children may live in peace, honouring one another with justice and love. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray for the world and for the church for the earth and all that's in it. Lord, we give thanks for the beauty and abundance of the earth. We pray for all peoples. We ask that you give us grace to live in harmony, harmony with your creation, with your wisdom and your generosity. We pray that we may use this generosity and wisdom in our use of the earth's bounty. We pray for shared prosperity, for ourselves and for your all humankind. We give thanks for the leaders who serve the common good in this country, 
and indeed in all countries. We pray for wisdom for those who have responsibility and authority in every land and every place. We pray that we might share with justice the resources of the world and that we might be able to work together in trust, love and harmony. We pray for this nation of Australia and give thanks for the diversity in which we live with its peoples and its culture. We give thanks for the land and all that it yields for us. We give thanks for first peoples and for present peoples. Grant that we may honour one another, that we may be enriched by our common heritage and freed from the despair of bad history, that we might be freed from poverty and exclusion, that we might be honoured by you in joy and diversity and that we might flourish as a nation under you. We give thanks for the church and its mission, for the institutional church that keeps people grounded and meeting together. But we also pray, Lord, for your spirit of inclusivity for your spirit of liberal thought and notion, for your spirit of caring and compassion, of joining and healing. We pray for all who would proclaim your gospel in word or action, for missionaries who live overseas and help to spread your word but also for those people who know you inherently through the spirit of their lives. We give you thanks for the good news of salvation revealed to us in Jesus Christ. We pray for power in your church to proclaim his gospel in word and service, in sacrament and praise. Unite all humanity in the truth of your love. We pray for ourselves and our community, giving thanks for the diversity of the community in which we live here in Wynnum. We pray for the fellowship of this community and for all who work to your good. We give thanks for the hub we give thanks for the charitable organisations within our community that help those less fortunate than us. We give thanks for the Domestic Violence Network, which helps women and men flee from bad situations, gives them dignity and hope. We pray for all who have donated towards food hampers and positive Christmas outcomes for some families. We give thanks for all who work for the greater good of humanity. We pray for those in need and we give thanks for those who have received healing or wholeness from illness and injury. We pray for those who are undergoing treatments or procedures, those who are struggling with illness and pain, and for those who wait to die. Send your healing wholeness spirit of spirit among us and give us what we need rather than what we desire. Finally, Lord, we thank you for those faithful departed, those whose faith has shown us the way to you, as well as those whose faith is known only to you. We take a moment to hold before you the names and faces of our loved ones who have died and we see no more. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of all grace who has called us to eternal glory in Christ restore, establish and strengthen us. To him be the dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us for evening prayer in this way. It's lovely that we are able to meet together and pray in this way together over cyberspace um, at whatever time you are offering this prayer and whatever time obviously I pre-record this and it's morning and it's wet. But there is only one more week till Christmas, one more week until we meet our Lord and Saviour as that vulnerable human babe again and offer our connection through family and love and joy through our Lord Jesus Christ. And that is our theme this week, joy. So if you haven't joined us on Monday or Wednesday and you hadn't realised, we are in the third week of Advent and our week is joy. So I pray that as you move from this space, your joy may be complete and may be complete in our Lord and that you may be able to share that joy with those you meet tonight, tomorrow and next week. Until next time, bye-bye for now. If you enjoyed this service or this video, please like or comment below. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notifications of when more videos are available. If you need to contact us, you can contact us on Facebook or any of the details here on your screen now. Good night and God bless.